determine the center and radius for each of the following circles. Now, determining the center and radius uh, of a circle is fairly easy, especially when the equation is written in standard form. Because when an equation is written in standard form, basically all the information about the center and radius is already there. Okay, so what we need is the equation in standard form. So I'm just going to write it here. So we need the equation in standard form. And the equation in standard form is this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So that's that's the equation in standard form. So if it's written in this form, we can easily identify the center and radius. So basically the center, the center, oops, sorry, the center of the circle is the point H, K. And so where are we going to find H and K? Well, H is here and K is here. It's important that the signs are all negative. Okay? If it's not negative, then we will make it negative. Okay? So that's your center. It's, it's already there. Now, how about the radius? Okay, so the radius, the radius is basically R. Right? So this value right here is our radius. So that's how to find the center and the radius. So let's uh, take our examples here. So for number one, x minus four squared plus y minus seven squared equals 36. Okay, so the problem is we're just going to find h and k. Now, if you observe, our signs are all negative. So we're okay. So we're just gonna pick out our h. Our h is four. So our h is 4, so the center for number 1 is 4, comma, the k, our k is 7. So that's our center. Our radius, r, is the square root of this value. Because remember, this 36 is supposed to be r squared. So if 36, if 36 is r squared, then r is the square root of 36. Right? So that's the square root of 36, which is 6. Okay, so that's the center and radius for number 1. So for number 2, I have x plus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 81. Now, if you observe, our sign here is positive. So we will make it negative. How do we make it negative? Well, we will rewrite, so instead of writing x plus 5 squared, we'll write that as x minus negative 5 squared, because x minus negative 5 is equivalent to x plus 5. So, that's it. So, we can now write, we can now rewrite this equation into x minus negative 5 squared plus we have y minus 3 squared equals 81 and from this equation we can see that our h is negative 5 that's our h then our k is 3 that's our k and our r is our r is the square root of 81 okay so that for number 2 center would be negative 5 that's this number and 3 so that's our center our radius would be the square root of 81 which is equal to 9 so that's for number 2 for number 3 observe that our first term is x squared okay, so where's the h there well we just rewrite x squared x squared is x minus 0 squared Okay, so that number 3 is x minus 0 squared plus 
you have y instead of writing y plus 9 we write y minus negative 9 squared equals 225 okay so this is our h this is our k and r is the square root of 225 so for number three our center is 0 negative 9 that's 0 negative 9 and our radius is square root of 225 which is 15 okay so that's it now how about for number 4 and 5 now 4 and 5 uh, are written in general form okay so what we need to do is we're going to convert or transform these equations in to standard form because these are general so in general if, if the equation is written in general form we cannot easily identify the center and radius so what we're going to do is so for number four what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange the terms okay so we're going to group all the x's and y's into one uh, one group okay so for number four i'm just going to write here so I'll have x squared minus 8x plus y squared plus 4y. And then I'm going to put the 16 uh, to the right-hand side. So instead of writing negative 16, I'm going to write 16 because I transferred the 16. I added uh, positive 16 on both sides. What, what we want is we want something like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 16. So we want that, uh, we want to find a perfect square trinomial that features these two, uh, these two groups. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So we have x squared minus 8x plus some term there. Then plus y squared plus 4y plus something in there equals 16. Okay, so to, to make it perfect square trinomial, we'll just take this value right here and we will square it okay so we will square it at, uh, 8 squared over 4 okay so we were we are going to square it and then divide it by 4 okay so that's 8 squared over 4 8 squared is 64 64 so this is 64 divided by 4 is 16 all right so this is going to be Oops, sorry. This is going to be 16. Now, since we added 16 on the left side, we're going to add 16 on the right side. Now, for y, again, take this value, the coefficient of y. So that's 4. Then you square it, and then you divide it by 4. So 4, the, the denominator 4 is constant. Okay, so that would be 16 divided by 4 which is equal to 4 so we have 4 there now this is already a perfect square trinomial in fact this is equal to x minus 4 squared and this is also a perfect square trinomial that is equal to that is equal to y plus 2 squared now since we added a 4 here we must add 4 there to compensate that would be equal to 16 plus 16 plus 4 and that's 36 so our our standard form is this Okay, that's our standard form. And from that, 
we can easily uh, find the center. So for number four, the center, the center is negative, sorry, positive four, negative two, and our r is the square root of 36, which is six. So that's it. And th the same process goes with number five, but I'm not gonna solve that today. I'm running out of time. So that's it. See you in the next video.